All right, so you say you witnessed a murder. <clears throat> well, who was killed? Some lady. Saw her get mowed down last night by a fancy ride. Out of nowhere, she runs into the street, car comes around the corner, and bam! So it was an accident. They were gunning for her. But the car stopped. A man and a woman got out. She was gorgeous. A movie star. It was Angelina. What's her name? Oh, no, no, the other one with dark hair. You know who I mean. We should check the area hospitals. See if a woman was brought in with injuries consistent with the car hit. I'll make the calls. I know who the lady was. Who? Madonna. You're Madison North. Yes. But I had no say over my husband's career. If I did, I would never have encouraged him to go after Kendall. Oh, I'm not blaming you. I am sorry for everything you put your family through. Thank you. I understand that your family has, has been through a lot as well. Weren't you in a terrible car accident? I survived. Unfortunately. And now, now these bruises. Madison, can you tell me who did this to you? Some guy. This guy, was it, was it somebody you were close to? Look, you're not alone. Please believe that so many women have been abused by, by men they were close to, even trusted, even, even loved. And that's why this Miranda Center was created, so that those women could find a place here, that they could break that cycle. And you can do that too, starting now. You don't have to go back to him. I don't have anywhere else to go. You know something? A, a few years ago, there was a big charity event in Philadelphia, and I co-chaired that with your father. I could call him. No, no. No, you can't. You have to promise me that you won't do that. Um, you want me to throw Annie's case? So we can get justice. I thought you wanted a fair trial. You know what? I want her to have her day in court so she can get what she deserves. Okay, how come this is all of a sudden feeling far too personal? Because it is. Look, JR misses his dad, and he wants his family back, and the only way that that can happen is if Annie goes to prison. Yes, but ambushing Annie in the courthouse. It's the right thing to do. Wow, you know, you have always been straight as an arrow when it comes to the law. You've been always by the book, and now you want me to play dirty. I just, I didn't expect this. Yeah, well, mm. me either, but this whole situation is just bringing out a different side of me. The Hayward side. You're sick, and I will help you. But the man who gets priority in my life is Jake. I understand, but Jake is a very busy man. Unlike me, he's going to have a very demanding schedule at the hospital. That won't be a problem. Okay, fine. I get it. Jake comes first. But while he's otherwise engaged, it might be nice for Trevor to spend time with both his biological parents while he still can. Now, is that really too much to ask? I have to change him. Come here, buddy. Come on. Before it explodes, uh, it's a, a, a peace offering. Last time I was here, I, I was a jerk, and you know, I took a vow to help the sick, and I didn't really do that, and I apologize. But don't worry about Jr. 
okay? He's just blowing off steam. Did he say anything about Adam? Stressing is not good for you right now. I need to know, Scott. He said he's getting better. Meaning what? Meaning he is stronger. He's clear, more like how he used to be. Before I came around. Oh, my God. J.R. got to Adam. He's convinced him he doesn't need me anymore. Oh, my God, Scott, Adam. Adam is going to turn on me in that courtroom. I just know it. No, no, no. You are getting worked up over nothing. Get out. No, not until you calm down. No, I mean it. Leave. I want to be alone. this woman in jail where she belongs. No. No. Annie, is everything okay? Get to the hospital. Now. 